Think of it as giving something up. Because you showed a disinterest in protecting your right. Because you were not interested in protecting your parcel of land, the law deems it fit that the person who was actually interested in acquiring it, we should give it to him. Alright. So that is the notion of adverse possession as it exists. Now, the crux of adverse possession is that it should be an undisturbed thing. अगर तुम हर हफ्ते जाके उसे नोटिस दे रहे हो कि यार निकलो मेरे जमीन से, हर हफ्ते जाके तुम उसे बता रहे हो कि get out of my land, if every week, every month, every year, or even once in that particular limitation period, if you make him aware that his possession is in conflict with your right of possession, then he cannot claim adverse possession. Okay? So it needs to be a chain. Okay? It needs to be a chain starting from one point and ending at that limitation period without any disturbance. If there is some element of disturbance, then the adverse possessee cannot claim legal possession after the expiry of the limitation period. Okay? Is that, yeah. uh, that interruption can only be judicial interruption or no, any form of interruption. Of informal interruption? Yeah, yeah, that also comes. If you just make him aware, of, but see, why would you. Okay, good, good question. Let's see. Why would I prefer a notice over just saying that I have to say that? Right? It has evidentiary value. So it's much more difficult to establish in court that I told him. So if you have some sort of record of what you said, of the legal notice you served. So whenever someone comes to you and says that he has been sitting on our land for so many days, the first advice you should give him is that you have a legal notice served. Okay. Sir, who is sitting on the land, you have to prove that 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 you have to prove that. Okay. You guys gone through the evidence act? No. Third year? Okay. There is something called a presumption of possession. Jo zameen pe milta hai na, the law deems it fit to say that the person who was found on the land was in correct possession of the land. So the burden or the obligation is not upon him to prove that I was on the land for 20 years. It is upon you to prove that it was my land and he was incorrectly on that. Okay. Because once he is there, he can say I have been here for 50. It's not that difficult for him to argue. It's difficult for you to argue. Okay. And this presumption is made by the Indian Evidence Act only. I think it's section 114. Yeah. 114? Yeah. So it's section 114. It's an illustration section. Yeah. No, I think it's an entire section. Just please refer to it. I'm from that. Anyway. So have you guys understood the thing that we have in possession? So what I thought I would do is that I hit upon two or three basic things so that if someone asks you something you are not completely, you know, you don't have any clue. So see, if I have a parcel of land. मैं उसके साथ I can't do infinite number of things with it. The law does not allow. Wait. What is it called? The transfer of property act. ठीक है. तो what are we talking about? We are talking about transfer of rights related to immovable property. Right? 
that should be the more broadened title. Okay. So, if I am talking about transfers of rights in immovable property, please understand it. You cannot just take one right and transact it. The Indian legislation, because there can be lots of rights, there can be a right of enjoyment, there can be a right of construction, there can be a right of building a passage, there can be n number of things na, that you get. So, the Indian legislature only deems it fit to have a certain number of transactions involving such rights. Not just the Indian legislature, the legislatures across the globe okay, only allow for a certain number of transactions with these rights. Okay. Why? Because this list okay, of transactions more or less covers each and everything you can do. It would be very difficult for you to come up with something other than what is provided for. Because at the end of the day, what we are trying to do if we are the legislature, we are trying to create tools to cater to the people so that they can transact in that particular, transact the rights related to a particular piece of land. Na? So, this list okay, of transactions that we have more or less deals with everything that is associated, associated with land. We call this list the numerous clauses. So we have these things. See, it's incorrect for me to put paramount title up here, okay? This is the entire territory of my land. 
इतने पे वो बंदा बैठा होगा so when you are informing him <coughs> think of it technically to which extent are you informing him that this is mine the rest of it is yours kitna extent hai that your notice is regarding this this shaded region the unshaded region you have not informed him no you have basically acquiesced to him staying there so you have given up your claim on that particular corner given my claim are you kai ha to that is what is giving up your claim giving up your claim can you i write this in particular corner agar aap keh rahe ho ki you can stay on my land okay without paying me anything what do you think that amounts to paramount right to dey nahi hai you are not saying that you are giving him anything as of yet it depends upon him what he claims okay so when he goes to court and the court asks him ki how much what is the extent of your adverse possession would he claim the entire region or would he just claim the shaded unshaded bit unshaded so if you what would you say in protest of that unshaded bit Yeah. 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 So what is profit and lease? What is sale and lease? We are coming to it. Right. So the first thing I wrote down there was paramount title, right? understand it as a concept paramount title means each and every right okay that can exist with regard to land each and everything everything every right that exists over that land if you have it you have paramount title so if this is my set space of rights the implication of paramount title is that i have this entire block i have everything there is nothing left out if there is something left out then i don't have paramount title okay now if we are to deal with paramount title Deal means we are supposed to transact with them, right? अगर मैं हर right चाहता हूँ that can exist over a parcel of land, then I would have to buy every right. right? So that is where you can bring in the concept of not just bring in it is the concept of transaction okay if i am supposed to acquire everything without any residuary thing left over with the person who is transferring stuff okay see in a transaction there are always two parties we call this person the transferor okay
अगर हम पैरामाउंट टाइटल में डील करेंगे ठीक है तो ओरिजिनली सबसे पहली चीज क्या होनी चाहिए ट्रांसफर के पास तो उसके पास भी खुद पैरामाउंट टाइटल होना चाहिए दिस इज अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी लॉ एग्जैक्टली लाइक इट्स अ वेरी फंडामेंटल नोशन इट्स कॉल्ड नीमो डैट साइन कॉन ऑन हैबिट ओके इट बेसिकली मीन्स यू कांट ट्रांजैक्ट इन समथिंग दैट यू डू नॉट हैव एंड वेन वी से डू नॉट हैव we mean that you are not legally entitled to transact it you can only transact in stuff that you are legally entitled to transact it to jo bunty aur bagan ne taj mahal bech diya tha that is you understand that concept gets implemented there you can't transfer that all right so in order to beat this notion the transferor would have to have the right he is trying to transact it all right so in our case here a the first step would be that he would be required to have paramount title so when i am transferring my paramount title to b i am obviously getting some sort of consideration theek okay? hai in whichever form but i am getting consideration there has to be consideration okay if something is left with me okay? if i retain certain amount of rights okay for any residuary right would the person be get permitted no right because that is what paramount title is it means everything so if i am keeping something with me then obviously everything has not been transacted so we need a tool that transfers everything which does not retain anything that tool is a sale okay it is an absolute transfer what do i mean when i say absolute kuch bachta nahi hai mere paas when i say i am absolutely transferring something that means that nothing is left with me so if i am supposed to transact in paramount titles listen to my words if i am supposed to transact in paramount titles which are the only forms of transactions i can use i can only use absolute transfers because if it is not an absolute transfer then something is left with me therefore paramount title won't get transferred okay paramount title ko it is commonly known as freehold okay so if you go across any advertisement for a flat or a parcel of land you will see ki advertisement is saying freehold bigger hai freehold bigger hai so that is what freehold means freehold means everything associated with that particular parcel of land all right now suppose I have my parcel of land. But I don't stay in this country. I have no use of it as of now. and i have no utility for it okay so what i would do is i would transact that land in such a if i am a person who actually wants to retain it okay 
मतलब माई ऑब्जेक्टिव इज नॉट टू सेल इट ऑफ कि हो सकता है मैं 20 पच्चीस साल बाद वापस आऊ एंड आई वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग विद इट तो मैं सोच रहा हूँ कि वो 20 पच्चीस साल वो ऐसे ही पढ़ा रहे उससे अच्छा बेटर ऑप्शन इज दैट आई मेक सम मनी ऑन इट so for such people people uh, the legislature has created a tool called the lease okay what i would do is i would allow another person to control that land okay for a particular amount of time Say I have leased out my parcel of land for ten years. दस साल के लिए मैंने यहाँ पे किसी को lease कर दिया. कहा कि आपको जो करना है उसपे आप वो कर लो. पर दस साल बाद मैं जब आऊँ तो ज़मीन मैंने आपको जैसे दी थी जब वैसी वापस चीज. Now tell me, is this a partial transfer or an absolute transfer partial transfer wait understand my question okay now title mein humne kya kaha ki hamare paas kuch retain nahi hota hai sorry sale mein humne kaha ki hamare paas kuch retain nahi hota hai If I am allowing a person to do whatever he wants on a parcel of land for ten years, what am I retaining? Am I not giving off everything that I have? Yes. For that ten years, but only for that for that ten years. So basically, am I transferring my paramount title for ten years? No. You can't accept the right to sell everything else. You cannot sell. You cannot sell that piece of land. You cannot sell that piece of land. But even What do you mean? See, you are asking that question again. Can you ever sell a piece of land? Zameen investeyo kabi? Rights. You sell rights. Who said you cannot sell a lease? If I grant a lease to B, okay? Huh? Let's come here. If I grant a lease to B, can he not grant another lease to C for the same thing? Yes. Yes. He can. He can. Can he not sell his lease? Can he sell it? What What is the distinction between a sublease and a sale? But of it, if I am subleasing and if I am selling, what would be the distinction? Sublease is for a particular time. Sale would be right. Sale means that person gets to sit in my place. I don't have anything left. Absolute transfer. Remember, a sublease means it's a partial transfer. So there is something left with me. Okay. So the question I had asked previously was, is it an? How is? Am I selling paramount title for ten years? Basically, that was my question. So is it that? Is that the case? Yes. No. Fine. Uh, because I think in the first place it won't be paramount because uh, it's a lease and not uh, like it's not a sale. It's not absolute in nature. That's not answering the question. My question is why is it not absolute in nature? क्या difference क्या है? क्यों नहीं है absolute? It's for a specified time. Like so? lease is for a specified time. Not it is not absolute. So. Paramount title would not be transferred because it is absolute. Okay. See, yeah, we are along the right track. If I am granting a lease for ten years, it's not as if I am transferring everything. I am reserving something. What is that I am reserving? My right to get that land back after ten years. Okay. So that entire. Debate we had of this being a set of rights. If it's a sale, ये सारे चले जाएंगे, ठीक है? If it's a lease, ऐसा सोचो एक particular part नहीं जाएगा. कौन सा part? The the part which allows me to get it back. Restitution. No. 
See, don't use words like that. What is restitution? Who said? What is this? Which year are you? Third year? What is restitution? Generally, it will happen that if a breach of contract causes mm. loss to somebody, who mm. is meant to place a person in the original place he was before the breach. Right, absolutely. That is restitution. That is the same thing as before. We call this the right of reversion, not restitution. Restitution is a form of compensation. This is not a concept of compensation. So the right of reversion implies, not implies, it says that after the duration of the lease has expired, I will get whatever right I had given the other person back. So if I grant a lease for 10 years, then I am granting the other person rights only for 10 years. After 10 years, those rights would come back to me. Alright? Now, tell me, if I grant a lease for 25 years to be. Okay? Can B grant a lease for 30 years to C? No. Q? Right. He can't grant something that he doesn't have. So, if C ko lease grant karna hai, if B wants to grant a lease, maximum kitne period tak de sakta hai? Twenty fourth year ke last day tha. Right? Because Pachiswe saal ke akhri din mein usse wapis chahi hoge na? Kyu? Taki wo A ko wapis de sakta. Right? If he sells his lease, can you sell a lease? Can you sell a lease? Can you sell a lease? No. No. Why? Because you cannot give it back. So? Like this lease. I mean, uh, it actually destroys the right of the actual owner to get the part. So, because you only have the right to lease, not everything else. Like, you know, I have given you every right that exists over the land for a period of 10 years. Why? I've given you every right. So, but this is after the time expires and what are you to with it? What we would say to you? You have not given the paramount ownership. You have just been. Alright. I am giving you a grant. I am giving you a lease for 10 years. I am saying you have every right associated with that immovable property for a period of 10 years. If you sell it, what would you sell? Kis chi kya cheez bechho ke tu? The rights I have. Right that we have. Mere paas kaise rights hai? Leasehold rights hai? Ya paramount title ke rights hai? Leasehold rights. To jab rights original position se dekhte hai, thik hai? ये पैरामाउंट टाइटल है, ठीक है? जब ए ने बी को लीज ग्रांट करा, तो ये पैरामाउंट टाइटल टूट गया। ये किसके पास रहेगा? ये किसके पास रहेगा? ये क्या है? फीचर क्या है इसका? दस साल 